And so my name is Erin, and we're here at Rejuvenation Clinics of Australia with the lovely Margarita. She's our product specialist, and she's here to answer all of your questions about medical grade skincare. And stay tuned as well, because at the end, we're going to be giving away a full collection of these lovely products. Um, we'll ask you a little trivia at the end, and you can enter to win a Rejuvis skincare collection, foundations collection. Um, so just before we start, uh, Margarita, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Hi, I'm Margarita, work at Rejuvenation Clinics of Australia, mm -hmm. have been working here for over 10 years, mm -hmm. been in beauty since I was 18, so that's like over 35 years we've worked out and started doing beauty therapy way back when and then getting into on the road repping and starting to work with products here and finding products that work well on the skin and then we ended up getting into formulating a wonderful range with fantastic ingredients and it got me thinking about people's skincare and what they use and how mm. well it works with treatments and and that's what I sort of do all day is answer questions about things like this and help people and advise them where they go from here. So happy to help you tonight. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a comment. Um, we'll answer as we go. And if there's anything we don't get to, I promise we'll post a follow-up tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll get started. Yeah, sure. So our first question, what is the best treatment for pigmentation? Um, so a big answer to that mm -hmm. one is there's not one treatment for pigmentation. Pigmentation, depending on what's triggered it, there's a lot of things that tr trigger pigmentation. Mm -hmm. It could be medication, stress, hormones, sunlight, UV, which is everywhere. Um, there's lots of different things that cause pigmentation mm -hmm. or the deeper colored pigment called melasma. Mm -hmm. So we've got products and lots of companies have products that inhibit the overproduction of that cell that wants to come up, those brown cells, melanocytes. Mm -hmm. So pigment inhibitors are really good to use on your skin all the time. And the idea is if you've got a good medical grade active that's been formulated well is to keep that communication to the cell, keep those cells flooded with a pigment inhibitor. Day and night is good, uh, mm -hmm. but definitely once a day. So you must keep that up. It's like washing your teeth is the term mm -hmm. that I use all the time. It's something you have to do every day. And then there are laser treatments that can help and, and other treatments that can help with pigmentation. So the idea is to get yourself a free consultation and see if you can do something combining treatments uh, with your pigment inhibitor serum, a serum that tries to inhibit the overstimulation of these cells. And we want everyone prepped on that prior to us doing mm -hmm. anything for you, at least two weeks prior. Okay, so sunscreen is the other thing that you must do for pigment. Mm -hmm. Because your body's overproducing these cells, which is your body's natural protection method to uh, form these brown cells on the surface, you want to relax that activity mm -hmm. and you want to use a good quality sunscreen. Um, something that stays on your skin if you're in the water or something that's a good SPF, a high factor on your face. We've got one here that's a anti-aging, moisturising sunscreen, it's physical, so it just coats the outside and you've got some really good anti-aging ingredients underneath. Um, and that doesn't move and it's got a good priming effect and it's matte finish, so mm -hmm. no excuse for not wearing a sunscreen over yes. a pigment inhibitor. <laughs> <laughs> of course, and now we just have a question coming in. Oh no, it's a comment, hi. Yay, we're on. Yes, we are. Okay, yeah. yes, thank you again for your patience, everyone. So, next question. Uh, what's the best thing to do for dry skin? Dry skin, again, it depends what could be causing your dry skin, whether it's lack of water or oil in your diet or mm. drinking it. Uh, it could be air conditioning that you work in. You could be a flight attendant up and down in different temperatures all the time. Um, something you're using on your skin mm. can cause it. Uh, illness can cause it. So there's lots of different things that can cause dryness. Or 
you're not taking the dead skin cells off the skin. So they're building up on top of the skin. Mm -hmm. And then when you don't moisturize, because you think you need to put more on, it starts to flake all over your clothes. So a couple of things for dry, dry skin. The first thing, diet, drinking water, that helps. Mm -hmm. Cleanse. Always use a good quality cleanser with none of the nasty chemicals or the alcohols in there, but a good quality cleanser mm. with either lactic acids or different fruit enzymes in there and do that cleansing to get the dead skin cells and, and mm. those uh, superficial oils and debris off. Then use something as a second step exfoliation like a an acid serum that you can put on the skin, um, different fruit acids or milk proteins that help to shift the dead glue and debris off the surface of the skin so you get that nice soft skin cell underneath mm -hmm. and then hydrate so hydrate with either again it could be a serum like a vitamin b serum mm -hmm. it could be your three fabulous antioxidants a vitamin a or a b or a vitamin c in your routine and then hydrator if you need that on top of it go ahead use a good quality moisturizer something again that mm -hmm. doesn't feel and smell like a perfume. The fluffier and thicker it is and the more perfumed it is, it's not going to be good for you. So try and get mm. some good medical grade actives in a moisturiser. So, I mean, we have them here, but there are a lot of good ranges out there that have very nice formulated medical grade actives and you can use that in a light moisturising or in winter you might need something richer over your acids and your serums that penetrate the skin, then you can use one over the top during the day, sunscreen moisturiser or sunscreen. Okay. And now I just wanted to add in, because I always hear about moisturisers with hyaluronic acid. Ah, oh, yes. Do you want to talk about hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid? So hyaluronic uh, is a form of, it's, it's bringing water to the cell. Mm -hmm. And you can get different weights of hyaluronic in products. So you can get a low molecular weight or a high uh, molecular weight hyaluronic. So you can bring that water and fluid into the cell and mm -hmm. give that sponginess back again. I always tell people that come in, there's oranges that are dehydrated that you see in the supermarket, mm -hmm. you never go for those. And there's the ones plump full of moisture. Mm -hmm. That's hyaluronic for you. That's what it's doing. It's keeping your cells spongy and healthy so that they're less stressed. Of course, if your cell's nice and fat mm -hmm. and plump and spongy, it's it's less likely to break down, so you're not getting that old wear and tear cell. And remember, we want to keep your cells nice and fresh each cycle when they come up every 28 mm -hmm. days. We want to keep feeding some good ingredients and lots of moisture to them so they come up nice and thick and healthy and you get that glow back into your skin. Mm -hmm. So hyaluronic, yes. In two weights, if you can get it in your products, a high and a low molecular weight hyaluronic. But hyaluronic can be in a moisturiser, it can be in a serum. Mm -hmm. So yes, add that to your routine, perfect. Mm, perfect. Great, yeah, I think it's definitely been a favourite ingredient. Yes, it's it is. It's a big word that everybody uses. It's an everything now. Hyaluronic. Yes. Yeah. Hyaluronic. It took me a while to learn how to say it. Hyaluronic. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> um, so we just have a question from Trish here. Should you wear sunscreen on top of your makeup or underneath? Underneath your makeup, Trish. Um, so always, if you've got a makeup with a sunscreen in it, mm -hmm. that will go on over the sunscreen that you're using. Um, so rule of thumb is usually after you cleanse, you'll apply your lighter grade weighted product first, mm -hmm. so your serums first, and then you will put, if you want a moisturiser, you can put your moisturiser, then your sunscreen. And then over the top of that, if you're adding a makeup, sunscreen makeup, or just a makeup, it goes over the top of that again. Mm -hmm. So the last thing that you look pretty with will be your makeup. Perfect. Actually, and I, think, I find sometimes my makeup stays better when I put on sunscreen. Yeah, when you've got a good mm -hmm. sunscreen, um, especially for that person that was asking about dry skin, sometimes those sunscreens can form that nice barrier before you put your makeup on, mm -hmm. and therefore you don't get that dry appearance. So that's another yeah, thing. So it's almost like a primer. Yeah. 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 Okay, great. So our next question was, I have dark and puffy under eyes. I don't want surgery but I'm sure there must be something that can help me. Yes, I hear. <laughs> Over the years, oh, the bags under my eyes, and they've mm -hmm. gotten less and less, and there's different things that we've found here that help. 
The ingredients vitamin K and arnica, which you'll hear a lot use for bruising. Um, if you can find a serum, uh, preferably a serum, because at least if the molecule of the product is small, it feels like a water, it goes without saying that it penetrates better. It doesn't just sit thick on the surface. So if you can use something like a serum, it's good. Um, why do you have the dark circles and the blueness under the eyes? This is another thing. It's not usually one quick fix. Mm -hmm. Why do you have them? It could be just lack of the draw. It could be lack of sleep, stress, mm -hmm. allergies, hormones, tiredness. There's so many things that can cause it. Sinus infections can cause more puffiness and blueness under the eyes. So if you can treat any of those, if you have them, that will help. Um, using that lighter grade product on the eyes in the form of a serum is fantastic. And something that's got peptides in it for helping with the strengthening, that's got hyaluronic mm -hmm. in it that helps with the moisture but it's not heavy. And something with vitamin uh, K and arnica, magnesium, zinc, copper. Um, they're good ingredients to have for that calming and that mm -hmm. inflammation. Another thing, we've got a product like that, an eye serum too, mm -hmm. and that's been developed for people like you that have asked for the puffiness and the dark circles. Um, the other thing that I find, mm -hmm. which I love doing, when I used to do a lot of massage, when I put my eye product on and I'm sitting in front of the TV, I always push and drain the fluid out to the side to follow the passage. And I also push down the sinus area mm -hmm. too. And you usually find by pushing up against the jaw and drawing those fluids away mm -hmm. in the next morning when you get up you do look that little bit less puffy it's also a very good feeling when you're putting it on to do it that mm -hmm. way and you've got pressure points here too so go ahead while you're putting your good quality product on and give yourself a little bit of a lymph drainage mm -hmm. massage at the same time and it's also soothing. It is soothing yeah. and it's quite, oh, it's quite fun when you do that. Mm -hmm. It becomes a regular thing for me to do it a lot. Um, the other thing that's worked for me and for a lot of our clients over time has been laser firming treatment. So mm -hmm. make sure you can get into a clinic that offers a free consultation and these um, tightening treatments really help to firm that skin. And of course, if you're firming that skin over the next three to six months, you don't get that heavy falling back. So you're producing that collagen and that tightening effect around the eyes. So product, um, but go get yourself a consultation and ask about these firming, mm -hmm. tightening treatments for around the eye area specifically. Perfect. Mm -hmm. um, so I've heard that retinol should only be used at night time and even then not every night. Is this true? Do you apply retinol on its own or after your skincare? Retinol. Retinol. <laughs> Big question. Big question. Retinol. Most people know retinol to be a vitamin A, mm -hmm. which it is, a type of vitamin A. Um, so if it is the type of A that's called retinol, mm -hmm. yes, you use that of an evening and every second night's a good way to start, depending on the strength of the retinol you're using. Mm -hmm. So how your body changes the way a retinol gets used until it becomes a retinoic acid. Mm -hmm. And that's how it's used in the cell. So we want to get it to that level. Prescription strength uh, over the counter can be quite harsh and they have to be prescribed. So retinaldehyde is a good form because then it's already nearly turned into that retinoic acid. Mm -hmm. So it only has to convert one more time and it's used at a really good level. So we have retinaldehydes in our products, which is a great form because it's nearly right there. Your cell will use that readily and available in a good, strong form. Um, if the levels go like this, it's usually a retinal palmitate mm -hmm. in your over-the-counter products that you can get everywhere, mm -hmm. and then it becomes a retinol. Then it becomes... And this is when you put it on your skin. Yeah, the well. cells change it from... Okay. Yeah, so it's a retinal palmitate, then they change it to retinol, then retinaldehyde, and then the form that it's used is retinoic acid. Mm -hmm. So there's different forms. So be very careful how you use the form you've been prescribed, mm -hmm. and usually they will tell you how to use that type of vitamin A. So yes, retinol nighttime, but if it's a retinaldehyde form like we have here, you can mm -hmm. use that day and night. 
And vitamin A, as we know, is one of the best anti-aging vitamins mm-hmm. because it helps with cellular turnover. We want to get those cells moving to the surface and flicking off like they used to when we were young. Mm-hmm. So we want the old cells to come up to the surface and the new cells to start making their way up. Mm-hmm. And so when that happens, we get reduction in our lines and wrinkles. We help to remove those dead pigmentation cells. It's also beneficial for collagen stimulation. So a very good vitamin and antioxidant to have in your routine. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Um, now, our next question, I really feel this one, okay. as someone who is always in a rush myself. So, for someone who's in a rush and doesn't have the energy to spend a lot of time in the bathroom, what's the best basic skincare program with the basic products? Okay, again, depends on the type of product you're using. Mm-hmm. Um, if you want basic but you want it to do something, make sure that they're good quality medical grade active ingredients Mm -hmm. in your bottle that you're using. You want to eliminate the nasty chemicals, perfumes and all those ingredients that your cells are trying to fight against. So really good quality skincare. Then that first important step of Mm -hmm. starting your glowing routine is cleansing. Mm -hmm. So I teach a lot of people the importance of removing bacteria, grime, pollutants, dead skin cells, the cells that need to be shifted Mm -hmm. off the skin. So cleansing. You can use cleansers. We have three in our range, but you can use a cleanser with lactic acids, milk Mm -hmm. proteins in it. You can use a stronger cleanser with different fruit uh, acids in it, so those fruit enzymes which naturally like to remove those dead skin cells and glue. Um, you can use even gentler ones, but you're better up to wash that off and remove it. So cleansing is the first step to an easy program. Everybody mm-hmm. does that. Take it in the shower with you and wash it off. Next step would be to use your acid serum to remove mm-hmm. any extra debris and those dead glues and oils that build up on the skin that harbour the bacteria. And then your serum of choice or your anti-aging moisturiser. So if you can get your antioxidants in one serum, like a vitamin A, a B, a C, fantastic. If it's in a form of retinaldehyde, Mm -hmm. you're nearly there. We've got one that includes all three vitamins, and that was because people were sick of using three different serums to get the one result. So if you can find something like that, perfect. Because you're just cleansing, you're using your next step of exfoliation in the serum, mm-hmm. then you're applying your three fabulous antioxidants. If it's daytime, sunscreen moisturiser. If it's nighttime and it's winter or you need some extra hydration, a good quality moisturiser mm-hmm. that's light and not too heavy on the skin would be fantastic. That breaks it down easier for you. Mm-hmm. If you can do those three things, so the three things are you cleanse, exfoliate, exfoliate, apply a serum or a moisturizer. Yep, yes. that's it. Okay. Easy, yeah. easy. I guess just like fun. washing your teeth every day, you just have to do that every day. Yeah. The benefits are the glowing, fresh, glossy look. Mm-hmm. And the older I get, the more my skin glows and glosses. And it, it's unheard of, usually at 54, quite dry and heavy and lots of lines and wrinkles, but I'm really mm-hmm. very conscious of cleansing, putting my acid serums on and a serum afterwards to, to keep the cells moving and constantly communicate to those cells what to do. They forget. The older we get, we forget everything, but your cells <laughs> forget as well. So if you yes. can feed those communicators down to the cell and remind them what to do to move up to the surface, to become nice and glossy and hydrated and plump, then you're going to get a better glow look. Okay. Now, there's actually a second question also. Um, my skin particularly around the nose can get very oily, so what would you recommend? So around your nose, so making sure you're using that good quality cleanser and particularly concentrating that when you cleanse with your washer or your gauze or what you're using to wipe away that build up around the nose, otherwise it can get quite red. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can get dry patches and it can get irritated. So cleansing and and concentrating on around the nose. uh, Because people put moisturisers and serums on but forget to cleanse around the nose, Mm -hmm. the nose always gets forgotten. Um, And then again, when you're applying your serums, you're not putting specifically around the nose, but when you apply your serums, 
concentrate mm -hmm. on adding that around the nose as well. No build up of thick moisturisers around the nose. Don't make sure that there's no excess sitting there and mm -hmm. that will help. Okay, just a quick pat all over and your serums will be transported in. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that. That's all right. So, this next question is on behalf of this person's son. My son has acne and I'm thinking of going to a skincare specialist. My only concern is he won't be good with the routine. Is there something else we can do? As I'm worrying, I'm worried about scarring, and if it's too late, some scarring has happened. Is there a treatment we can do? Okay. Yeah. So this is I have kids as well, teenagers that were going through the same thing. So with your son, I don't know how old he is. Um, if he's coming into those teenage years, mm -hmm. they usually get that burst of testosterone, it, and girls get. The, you know, their female hormones come into play. Mm -hmm. It produces a lot of oil activity in the gland. So they get a lot shinier and their skin starts to get that normal T-zone area. And then they start to crave a lot of sugars. Their mm -hmm. diet's quite poor and that breeds more bacteria. So again, look at clean pillow slips, proper cleansing, good diet, lots mm -hmm. of water. Um, that first step of cleansing, I know it's it's not easy to get a child to do it, but if you put a bottle of a good quality cleanser of some description in their bathroom, we've got one that's called Purify, and it's activated charcoal with mm -hmm. acids in it, so it's natural fruit acids that draw the impurities away from the skin. So if you can teach them, instead of using a bar of soap, just to pump, cleanse, wash off, there's mm -hmm. the first step they'll come out with less bacteria on their skin. The second step is teaching them how to wash their hands and not touch their face. That's the thing that a lot of teenagers like to do. Mm -hmm. um, that's a good step, you know, just hygiene practices, changing pillow slips regularly because of the oil that breathes while they're sleeping. And using a serum like a vitamin B, or they can use a vitamin A, B, C, but in a lighter form, depending mm -hmm. again on the age of the person. Um, you like to start just very gentle. Um, if they use a B, that helps mm -hmm. to regulate the oil glands. So something with a, a B in it or niacinamide is very, very good for regulating those oil glands. Um, get them to try and drink lots of water and, and you know, good quality blended fruit juices at home mm -hmm. and things like that if you can get them into the routine. And just remind them that every time they touch their skin, millions of particles of dirt and bacteria under their fingernails so that they don't mm -hmm. think of that when they touch their skin. And with girls starting to wear makeup at a young age, uh, just spraying your makeup brushes and keeping everything clean and not double dipping into a dirty old makeup and then reapplying on the face. So there's lots of things you've got to look out for. We always try and teach people to look at the big picture of what they're doing that could be causing this. Um, but unfortunately with teenagers it can be the age and the production of all that extra hormone. Mm -hmm. So they are just got to keep it clean with a little bit of a serum on top. Be really easy, really simple. Mm -hmm. And coming in for a consultation, free consultation, get a clinic like ours that gives that free consultation and goes through what it is that might be causing it. Light, easy treatments for a young teenager to be mm -hmm. able to have. It will all be kept on the record record on the system and then that way when they want to come in and have it done it's there for you mm -hmm. no thought involved yeah mm -hmm. that's great yeah and if you did want to bring your son in for a consultation you can send us a direct message on facebook to inquire about uh, booking that in or you can visit our website there's lots of ways to contact us by phone or email um yeah because as margarita said one of the best things is to use get him in front of a professional face-to-face. -face. They can talk about holistic approaches, how to prevent scarring. Yeah, what um, products they can mm -hmm. use, what treatments they can have. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Get on top of it earlier than later. Yeah. Scars and scar tissue at a young age is easily corrected. You've just got to get into a routine. Perfect. And so that's actually a good segue as well to our last question. Um, can you go through what would happen in a skin consultation and how long does it take and what is the cost? For us at our clinic, we get them walk in all the time and book over the phone. Uh, it's a free consultation. Mm -hmm. So the reason we do that is because 
there's not just one thing sometimes that would help everyone. And the questions can be very detailed. Um, some people have something that we can't necessarily see straight up to you get into that consultation. Mm -hmm. So all your needs and concerns are addressed in there. Um, everything that could be causing it, they go through with you. And then a treatment plan or a product plan is carefully written down and assessed. And you also get a summary sent to you afterwards so you can remember what it is that you spoke about. We've got brochures and we have product um, guides for you as well. So everything's written down on there with a product routine that you can use. Mm -hmm. We have brochures of information on treatments that we do for certain conditions or, or just you know anti-aging. Uh, treatments that you want to do and then we follow you up as well so it takes about 20 minutes to 30 minutes depending on what it is you're talking mm -hmm. about and everyone that you speak to will be designing that just for your needs so it's exactly what you would need for your concern mm -hmm. okay yeah. great um so I think that's all the questions and all the time we have for right now but um we didn't forget the giveaway so, the trivia question tonight, if you want to win this beautiful collection, it's nearly $500 worth of products. Comment below with one ingredient that we've spoken about tonight. Any skincare ingredient that Marguerite has discussed. Um, to give you some time to go back and think about it, um, you can also search our website really quickly, Rejuvenation Clinics of Australia. We'll have our website shop there with all the ingredients. Um, but while you're doing that, do you want to just talk quickly about what's in our foundations collection? This is really good for everyone that's asked questions tonight to get you started. So in this, we have the lactic acid cleanser. So great cleansing to remove all the debris and it's gentle enough that everyone can use it, even your teenage child. Mm -hmm. Then we've got uh, the clarifying serum. So that is your AHAs and BHAs, your different acids that hit and target oil or water in the skin mm -hmm. to remove the dead skin cells and break down the oils where the bacteria sits. We've got a vitamin A, B and C at the low strength for you, for anyone to use. So basically you would cleanse pop your serum on, leave it one minute, pop your antioxidants on top, that's it, and daytime sunscreen anti-aging moisturiser. That is a powerhouse, that one. Mm. Physical, no chemicals, beautiful finish, matte finish, good primer for makeup, and it doesn't move unless you wipe it off. It's fantastic. So everything you need is in there to get started. So I hope somebody who wins it just loves it as much yes. as I do. <laughs> We've got some entries. Actually, one person commented cleanser. Uh, that's technically not an ingredient. So, <laughs> come on, you can try do again. It. You can do it. Um, I mean, great. I mentioned <laughs> that'd be good. <laughs> so, one more time, just thank you everyone again for joining us. Thank you, Margarita, for all the information. Pleasure. Pleasure. Thank you. Um, as I said, we're going to post a summary with everything we've spoken about um, we'll do that tomorrow so you'll be able to go back and refer to everything and tomorrow we'll pick a winner tonight and oh very good you guys have been paying attention yes. um yeah so we'll pick a winner tonight and we'll announce the winner tomorrow when we post our summary and um, i guess before we go do you have any closing thoughts no, uh, loved it. Any, any questions ever that you need answered, like Erin said, you can email us. I'm happy to answer anything that you that I might have covered for you. Um, but yeah, just get onto a routine. Get onto a routine mm -hmm. and stick to it, and keep the anti-aging up. Awesome. Okay, thank you. Have a good night.